What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the almost perfect heavily modded Subnautica playthrough. I'm Leviathan Kraken, and this will be episode 27. So let's get right into it. I had to do a little bit of backtracking, and on episode 11, I was in this wreckage and I explored it already, but I did notice that there was a room that required the laser cutter fragment to get in that I didn't have at the time. So let's go ahead and try to find that let's, or try to find the entrance for one thing oh here's something right here what we got nothing something I already had okay so I think it's back here oh where is the entrance I know it's like right over here okay I think I see it there we go okay um what do we got here? Water? Let's move over to our flashlight. Let's see where it's at. Okay, I don't see anything just yet. Okay, that looks like a dead end. Okay, here's a door. It looks like this I already opened. Um, there it is, right there. Okay, so... Let's pull out the laser cutter and... Wait, no, not that one. And thanks to that new mod that I added, BAM! <laughs> that is so cool. The improved laser cutter mod. All right, so... We got some stuff over here. We got a PDA. We have a box. Let's see what this is. Cyclops sonar upgrade. All right, I'll take it. So now we've completely knocked out this wreckage. And, okay, so I think I go back up this way and straight. Okay, because I know I already explored everything else, so we should be good. So now that we've made our run and we've, uh, we went to, on the last episode, we went to the life pods. We, we found a few things. We did find the battery charging, um station the, the fragments for that that we need so that's going to be the first thing that we build when we get back we've got to i've got tons and tons of batteries that need to be recharged badly so we're going to be heading straight back over there so it turns out i'm actually at home today i didn't work it's it's funny what happened um my boss texted us this morning and said that he couldn't even get out of his driveway it was so bad he's like well Let's wait till about 11, because we normally come in at 7. He's like, let's wait till 11 and see if the ice dries up. So, 11, 11 o'clock comes, you know, about 10.50. I leave, because uh, I'm, I'm, I live fairly close to work. and So, I get there, and the roads, you know, mind you, on the way over there, the roads are fine. I mean, there's some, of course, icy patches here and there, but the roads were fine. And when I get there, I sat there for about 30 minutes waiting and waiting and I'm like, well, well, they do have a wreck or something? Is everyone okay? And so I just kind of like instinctively start looking at the text messages. I'm like, well, did, did they maybe text and I missed it? It turns out he sent a message to everyone and says, well, it turns out that, I, you know, I think I changed my mind. I think it's, it's too dangerous. Let's just stay home, everybody. <laughs> so I sat there for about 30 minutes for nothing. And, um... Yeah, and so my boss lives kind of like on the outskirts of town, like in another area that, you know, isn't very commonly traveled. So the, with the roads aren't very commonly used, then obviously they're going to be a lot worse. So, And then someone where around the area where he lives said that it was sleeting, and it wasn't sleeting where I'm at. I've, I heard thunder like a, I don't know, like a couple hours ago, but it missed where I'm at. So, I don't know, it was just like... <sighs> It's frustrating to me because, you know, when the beginning of the year comes, we have, we get about two weeks of vacation pay for me. And then when the week, when the first of the year comes, we get so many snow days. And, and then the boss is like, you know, if you ask for time off without pay, of course, he's not going to be happy about that. But at the same time, it's like we're burning up all of our vacation time working, uh, or, I mean, um, you know, to, to cover up all these snow days. So it's, it's just really frustrating. I hate the area that I'm in. I want to move back. I used to live in Florida. I want to move back. And I just want to be somewhere where I don't feel cold. I don't see snow. I don't see ice. People are telling me, they're like, oh, you want to build a snowman? Come on out here. Come on, you know, let's go have fun in the snow. I'm like, no. 
you can have it. I don't want it. <laughs> I hate snow. I hate ice. I hate the cold. I am not not into that. I, I'm a very tropical person, so maybe that's the reason why I don't like it below zero as much. <laughs> okay, so we, we've got 17% left on our battery. We have got to get straight back. I didn't even think about that. I'm just now looking at that. 55% left on our whole integrity. So let's land on this island here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh. What was that? Gosh, I hate those things. Okay. Three. Try to move around so that way they don't hit me. Like, hide behind this thing. Okay, about 80, 85. Yeah, we should be good. Okay. Oh, is there more wreckage over here? Oh. Well, I'm seeing something. I mean, I'm here. I might as well look at it, right? What's this over here? What do we have? Creature decoy. Okay, um... Anything in here? Anything in here? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so we got a creature decoy. That's good. What is in here? Okay. Anything? Always love those bioluminescent plants. Okay, so I can't get into the wreckage from here. So let's see. Probably might want to get get more oxygen real quick. Okay, so let's. Can I get up? Let's get on top of this thing. Oh, we have a box. Okay, that's a med kit. Now, I'm out of food and water, so I'm going to have to make this quick. I don't have a whole lot of time to waste. Okay, what's this? Anything? No. Anything over here? Okay. Well, I can't see it. Oh, yeah. I forgot about my night vision. Eh. There we go. Okay, so... Prawn suits over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. I'm not sticking around. I don't want you biting me. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything in here? How do I get into this thing? here no this is just going straight below is there even an an inside to explore I see like a box thing like one of those air you know vent things but that's closed off okay this one eh, I can see in there but this is not can't get in there Okay, let's let's restart. Let's get back in the prawn suit, reset our oxygen, and see if we can... Man, I just can't see hardly anything. I see a warper, that's for sure. Let's go this way. Okay, I'm seeing a prawn suit propulsion? Fragment? Okay. Hmm. Funny. Oh. The battery ran out. Oh, I took it out because I had to, um, had to repair. Yeah, this is how badly I need to recharge these batteries. Okay, so... Like, it's almost gonna have to be daytime before I can even completely, um see what I'm doing here. All right. Okay, let's 
Let's go back this way. What do we got here? Okay, some, well, we got some food. At least we don't have to starve. Oh, oh, I see an entrance. I see an entrance. Okay, so I don't want to go too far in because I definitely need oxygen. Okay, so we got a door here. I wonder if I can bring the prawn suit right uh, right here. Let's try to keep a mental note of where this entrance is. Okay, so let's see. Where is that prawn suit? 62... Was it right here? Yeah. Okay, so we found the entrance. Okay, that's about as far as I can go with the prawn suit, it looks like. All right, so we got full oxygen. Let's see what we can find. I'm gonna just going to grab you. You look really cool. S jelly spinner thing. <laughs> they should have called it that. Jelly spinner thing. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we've got this to scan. I don't think I've ever even used a propulsion cannon on the prawn suit before. I've never really felt the need to, but okay. I mean, you know. Let's see. What do we have here? Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing anything. Okay, there's a door to go through here. So, make sure there's no... Now do a quick sweep of the room. <laughs> okay. Uh, doesn't... Okay, I think I see... Yes. I might head back real quick after this and get some more oxygen. Boy, that really helps. Boy, that is just... Alright, let's just go back real quick. We'll, we'll get some oxygen. Come right back. We're gonna play... We're gonna play it safe today. I know for one thing, if this was real life, I'd be playing it very safe. I don't know if I'd even have the courage to... If this was real life, honestly, I would be still in the safe shallows. Like, I... <laughs> I would just be, man, I, I don't know. I, it, it, like when I first played this game, it took me forever just to leave the, the safe shallows, just to get brave enough to go past certain areas. All right, so. All right, we got something here. Please be something important. Oh, golly, what, what's with all of the repeating... Okay, this, well, whatever that is, I already have that too. Okay, well, there's a prawn suit like fragment thing. Now, what about this? Here's, oh, data terminal. What am I, a little child or something? Like, don't do that while it's. Okay. Uh, okay, there's nothing else in that direction. Okay, please be something good. Have I already been here? I mean... <laughs> uh, I'm thinking at this point that I've... But I, I didn't have the propulsion cannon fragments, though, so I couldn't have been here. Very odd. I don't understand why there's so many repeated data boxes. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, we got another door to go through. We don't want to get too, too lost here. I might, oh, okay, well, let me look through this room real quick just to make sure there's nothing I missed. That's weird because if I did not have the propulsion cannon fragments, then, yeah, all right. Well, I'm, I'm already salty about that. So let's just head straight back to our base. Oh. 
Come on. Get out of there. Alright, so our base is that way. 800 meters away. We've only got 11%. We're gonna just hit the fly button. What in the world? Oh, that's that jelly spinner. <laughs> yeah, those things are pretty cool. I, I don't know if the, if all of the de-extinction creatures are early concepts that got scrapped from the game. I think they are. I'm not completely sure about that, but I think I read that they are just all objects that, um, well, they're probably models and everything that he was able to recycle because the creators just scrapped it and said, okay, here's the, here's the models right here. Crap, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. There's way too much danger here. Okay, 500, yeah, we're not, we're not that far. All right. Still got a little ways to go. 8%, oh, <laughs> let's hurry. I don't want to get stranded. Okay. We are almost there. Boy, this part of the map is dangerous. Yeah, I love those things. Those little electric... Oh, they do they explode? I like those little electricity... Um, There's some kind of mineral. I, I don't know how they're floating exactly, but that's Ecotian mod right there. So you definitely don't want to get close to those things. They're almost like a, like a, like a mine. All right, so we did we did the exploring of two two wreckage today. So we got that out of the way. Now, when we get back to the base, we're going to be focusing on the battery charger, of course, and we will have enough titanium. I can't even remember what we were doing. <laughs> we'll have enough titanium to do what we need to do. Let's just just leave it at that. Okay, we need to get over this without getting attacked. Oh no, don't you do- Whoa, what the- <laughs> That was so funny. Oh no, I think I'm losing my propulsion thing. He went flying, like, I don't know what causes that. Whenever you get heavily- Well, it, it does that even in Vanilla sub Subnautica, so I don't know. But when you are modded Subnautica, it's even worse. Like, there's creatures acting all kinds of crazy. Alright, we're back. Oh. <sighs> Let's get up here. There we go. Ugh. So, we have a radio message to listen to. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think the next... Ooh, in VR. Well, that's so. Gosh, dang it! What's attacking my prawn suit? Oh crap! It's it's I I oh oh no 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 no! I don't need this right now. Crap! Something followed me. Ugh, man, I swear I can't have a moment's. Now now I remember what I was about to make. I was gonna make the moon pool. Because something, what? It must be that, no? Well, what's doing it? Something's attacking. Whoa, whoa. Hmm, that's odd. Is there something clipping through the, through the ground? Weird. Okay, well, I hear that. Let me turn this night vision off. Well, okay, so we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, see that? Yeah, something's attacking it. Okay, so let me just... um, Let me put it on top of my base. Something's clipping through the ground. <sighs> Annoying. Alright, so we are going to build the moon pool. That's what we're going to make. Let's get this stupid poster out of my way. Is it st Gosh, I swear, if my prawn suit gets destroyed, I'm going to be so mad. So, let's pull the batteries out of it. 
Where's it at? 72. Okay, so I don't think it... I don't think it did any damage. There's that dragon still there. Ugh. What kind of glitch is this? I've never seen anything like this before. It's... Yeah, it's clearly doing damage. Ugh. All right, so we're going to be taking you out. Well, I guess I better hurry up and build that moon pool. Jeez. Okay, I think I need lead and uh, lubricant. Let's hurry up and do Let's do this as quickly as we can. Okay, I think it's ingots. I hope. It sounds almost like a warper in a way. Um, so let's see here. Four. Of course, we don't have a power source for that either. I guess we're going to have to build this moon pool as fast as we can so that way before we build the um, battery recharger. So let's see. Moon pool... Titanium ingot. Well, I should have enough for another ingot. Do I not? I don't think I pulled enough out. Lead and lubricant. So, let's see. Oh, I knew I needed lubricant. I hope I don't have to go all the way back to the ship. Because I don't have it on me. Please. No, I don't. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Well, um, please be here when I get back. <laughs> do not die. Okay, let's go up, as, zoom up as fast as we can here. We're going to get this lubricant. And we've got the, got the titanium and the lead. Okay. Whoa. Ah, it's a beautiful day. All right, so let's see. Lubricant. Okay, I think it was only one, but I'm going to, I'm going to grab one of, each of these just in case and well let's let's convert this titanium real quick all systems operational I need to change that voice I know you can change the voice in the 2.0 version with the um, not ECC library but the uh, ah, I can't think of the name the, the mod where you add submersibles you can change it to several different voices I don't think you can on this one Let's hurry up and do this real quick. Okay. So, okay, can we connect it from here? Oh, man, base building is so difficult. Okay, I think I'm going to have to put it on this side. My gosh. Hmm. That is not wanting to let me connect it, is it? Okay, so... Here, let me go back here real quick. Now, why can I not um, rotate it? It's not letting me... Hmm. Well, this is frustrating. Let's see. I'm tempted just to go ahead and leave it separate. So that way I, they're not actually connected. I mean, it, it, is it really necessary? I can always fix that later, I guess. Since we are on the verge of losing our prawn suit. Here, let's just... Nope. Now, why did I do that? It's too far away. Now look at this. <laughs> I can't get... There it goes. I could not get rid of that for a second there. Okay, so... We're going to put you right... 
Come on, a little bit closer. Nope. There. Okay, we're just going to put you right there. It wouldn't let me rotate the direction of it for some reason. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I guess it might help if I have a power cell that's got a good charge on it. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what was clipping through the ground like that, but apparently it's gone. Eh. There we go. Um, is it transferring power? Yeah, I guess it should be transferring power from the other base, so we should be good with that. Now, we do have the vehicle upgrade console blueprints, so we'll be able to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and try to see if I can build the battery recharging station. So let's see what we need for that. Battery recharging. Wiring kit, copper wire, and titanium. Okay, titanium, wiring kit, copper wire. We should maybe have some of that in the prawn suit. Let's find out. Okay, we've got we got two silvers. We're gonna need to convert those. Um, we don't have any of that on us, so. All right. We might possibly just build it in the boat. Now that I think about, well, the boat has solar charging, so yeah, it should work just fine. I mean, I can always, you know, put it in both places eventually, but I think for now, I might just go ahead and build it up here. Cause this back and forth, back and forth thing is like too much. All right, so let's let's go ahead and get all this titanium. Now, is it going to do all at once? Yeah, it will. So let's see. We've got enough silver to make a wiring kit. Do we have enough copper? Yes, we do. Okay. Oh, man, I've been waiting for this. Whoop, what did I just make? <laughs> I have been waiting for this for a long time. Can I squeeze you in there? No, I cannot. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to put you over the, the window. Wait a minute, what? Titanium copper wiring wiring kit. What? what what's the problem here? Did I not make the... Um, Copper wire and titanium. Wait a minute. I accidentally... Oh, I made a computer chip. Like, right before I walked away. <laughs> oh, son of a... Oh, okay, so... Gosh. Like, I accidentally clicked computer chip right when I was walking away from the fabricator. Oh, my... Gosh, is there not like a, there's not a way to like defabricate that. I think there's a mod for that, honestly. Oh my gosh. It's like someone was trying to stop me. That is so, ooh, that makes me so mad. No more, well, we've got, we've got one. So we're going to, we're going to have to go find a piece of copper. And we don't have any copper wire in here. Uh, that's all gold. Fiber, coral, titanium. Okay. Well, <laughs> I will not be able to charge my batteries yet. And it's pitch black, of course. Well, 
We're at the 30 minute mark. I'm already frustrated. I'm already mad at the game right now. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just find that copper off camera. I'm going to go down there and get some copper, make stupid battery charger, and get all these stupid batteries recharged. I've got like probably 10 of them. So I'll get that done. So I'm trying to think, what will be on the next episode? What are we going to focus on? Let's let's talk about that real quick before we before we end the episode. Oh, I've got the habitat control panel. I didn't know that. Heck yeah, because someone was reminding me in my comments section that this was actually not a new mod. I thought it was a new mod, but it was brought over to 2.0. So, yeah, I can power my bases with the battery. Yay, okay. I, I didn't even know that I had that in there. Nice. Awesome. Okay. So, anyway, um, so we do have the ore consumer. I think, okay, so this transport drone terminal receives transport drones to transfer items to and from the Altera Depot. So, in order to, like, once I build up enough credits, so here's the thing, when I want... This says elevator kit. Now, I don't. I can't just build that on my own. I have to build enough credits to buy the elevator kit. And I can't get the elevator kit until I get the transport drone terminal. So, oh, what's this recycler? Recycle your trash and get your resources back. Okay, so that would have come in handy right, <laughs> right about now, but I have to have the recycler kit before I can do that. Okay, okay. That would, yeah, that would be really nice, Altera Solar Cluster. It, it would be nice to build a habitat platform over here and have a whole cluster of these. So we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do, but we really are low on resources. I'm not going to lie, guys. So um, I'm trying to think, like, you know, I don't want to spend, like, an entire episode just hunting for resources. You know, like, I want to make sure that we are heading towards something of some sort of blueprints or something useful before we do something like that. But we're, we're obviously not going to be going towards the Lost River or anything like that just yet because we still have a lot of... You know, we'd, we'd be doing a lot of back and forth. If we want to focus on this base, then we're not going to be progressing with the game just yet. So you can always leave some ideas in the comments, some suggestions of what you would kind of want to see first because... In order to see the Socknautica mod, we have to have the game beat. And, and in order to get a lot of this Field Creator Studio stuff, we're going to have to be doing a lot of resource hunting. So, um, yeah, I'll do some thinking of like what I want to do on the next episode. But for now, I'm going to get that copper. And I'm going to at least get the batteries recharged. That way my life's a little bit easier and I have tools that work and I'm not switching between batteries and this and that. That's very frustrating. So I will, um, yeah, I'll do that. And then we'll figure out what we're doing. We're going to do in the next episode. And I, I work tomorrow. See, tomorrow's Friday. I might be able to record tomorrow. I might, uh, depending on how things go. But anyway, guys, uh, I will see you guys in the next one. If you like the content, uh, if you like the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.